I already know this video is going to bring about some controversy in the comment section down below. But today I want to talk about the age-old question of why are people afraid of snakes? Whoa! The snake! Which is kind of sad because there's 50 snake species here in Florida and yet only six of those are actually venomous. Of those 50 snake species, all of them will do their best just to escape you. And it all comes down to instincts, really. See, you hear stories about people's dogs got bit or people got bit. And a snake's first instinct is to just sit there and not be detected. Most snakes have adapted camouflage to blend in with their environment. You can tell a lot about a snake by the patterns that it exhibits. Like this pine wood snake has a brown color skin to blend in with dead pine needles. And this cottonmouth lives in a murky water or tannin rich water environment, the rivers. Now, snakes aren't as scary as people think. See, because their first instinct is to lay dormant and not be detected. And second instinct is to try to evade or escape. Only on a last resort basis would a snake actually strike somebody that it didn't consider food. Stories of snakes chasing people and cotton mouths chasing people, that's just a misconception. A lot of times, if you think about it, cotton mouths will be in a very busy river or something, and snakes got to go somewhere. I mean, you're in the snake's natural environment. What do you expect the snake to do? It's just trying to get from A to B. Back to instincts, you hear about people's dogs getting bit. Well, the dog's instinct is to hunt. It's a carnivore. It's a member of the wolf family. And the snake sees the dog as a threat and as a last resort is forced to strike in order to save its own existence so its genes can go on. But all those facts don't answer one simple question. Why are people afraid of snakes? We have the ability to understand snakes and we should. It goes as far back as Adam and Eve when the snake lured Eve to eat the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil. Hollywood has anthropomorphized snakes or given them human-like characteristics and in most cases portraying them as the villains or the bad guys. Who doesn't remember the Jungle Book? We've been conditioned since a very early age. Snake Island. Mega Snake, Snakes on a Plane, Anaconda, and even movies like Terminator use snakes in the movies to help strike fear in people and drive up movie sales. Hollywood is playing with our emotions, all the while portraying snakes as the worst things that ever could exist and leaving snakes kind of out in the dark or in the cold and misunderstood and most often disrespected and not treated like living organisms should be treated. The last and perhaps most widely accepted theory as to why people are afraid of snakes is that through evolution people have adapted a fear of snakes because those who were scared of snakes were more likely to survive a snake attack, therefore their genes were more likely to live on. And honestly, I don't buy that not for a minute. That certainly doesn't play a factor here in the United States because if you look at the statistics, only four people in the last four years have actually died from a venomous snake bite. So, when you consider the size of the population of people, compared to the amount of venomous snake bites, compared to how many people actually die, that number is insignificant, and certainly not enough people dying from snake bites to allow genes of people being scared of snakes to become prevalent over those who aren't. Now, those numbers don't account for all the snake deaths in the world, with India in consideration being at over 11,000 people who have died a year to snake bites. Now, the species of snakes in India are quite different than the ones we have here. I mean, they have cobras, for goodness sake. And the amount of healthcare, or the quality of healthcare, should I say, is not quite as good as it is in India as it is in America. Snakes are more inclined to bite and cause a fatality in an area where the healthcare is not as good. And the population in India is far greater than the population here in America. There are over seven to 8,000 snake bites from venomous snakes here in America every year. And yet, the last four consecutive years, only one fatality. Snakes have no real incentive to want to bite people. The only incentive they have is to try and survive for themselves. 
So, a snake that was to inject somebody with venom, but then be secreting a very valuable resource that it has that it needs to survive, to hunt and kill its prey, so it can live on. So the incentives for a snake to go out and harm people isn't there. What is true, however, is people are moving into the snake's natural habitat. People are swimming in rivers that cotton mouse have considered their home for thousands of years. I mean, snakes have been around since the age of the dinosaurs. These are living there. dinosaurs. Don't let it run. And I just want to say one thing. If you leave snakes alone, oh, they're going to leave you alone gone. too. If you don't agree on any of these points, be sure to comment down below. I'd be interested to hear some other sides. If you like snakes, then please give this video a big thumbs up. That really helps this video get around. And if you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe. We upload new videos every week. And hopefully we'll see you again in the great outdoors. I'm your host, Alex, the Florida Wildlife When I was guy. a child, I remember my father finding a yellow rat snake in our birdhouse. He told me about the circle of life. And through time, I learned about the balance of our ecosystems. Every day, a new adventure, a new creature. Shows like the crocodile hunter. It became my goal to catch every species of animal possible. Then YouTube came along and gave me a platform. Now I can share with my subscribers. Thanks for your support. It means a lot to me. The Florida Wildlife Guy.